What if I told you you're not getting the most performance out of your NVIDIA GPU? So in today's video, I'm going to go over the best NVIDIA settings, like going over the NVIDIA control panel and NVIDIA app. First, we're going to start off by opening the NVIDIA app. If you guys don't have the NVIDIA app and you have GeForce experience, you guys can just click the link in the description and go download the NVIDIA app. The NVIDIA app is just an updated version of GeForce experience, and it's honestly just a million times better. So first, we're just going to start off in drivers. You just want to make sure you're up to date on your most recent drivers. As you guys can see, my most recent drivers released Monday, May 19th, 2025, and I have not downloaded them yet so just click download and these downloads shouldn't take very long as you guys can see it's only 600 megabytes i recommend just like checking this once every week obviously i haven't so now once it's done downloading all you got to do is just press install and then just do any of these installations i just do express installation because it's faster for me so now that we're done installing our geforce drivers all we're going to want to do is just close out of it we're just going to go to our graphics global settings and then we're just going to change these driver settings in here so rtx dynamic vibrance you just want this to be off and if you want to check what it actually does you guys just click this little eye right here and it'll just show you exactly what it's doing it boosts visual clarity for games using ai but that's just going to bottleneck your PC and make your GPU run over time. So you don't really want this on. Battery boost, you just want this off. CUDA GPUs, you just want this to be on your main GPU. So mine's just my NVIDIA GTX 1650. Smooth motion, this doesn't even allow me to use it, but turn this off low latency mode. Either this should be set to ultra or on. Image sharpening, off. Max frame rate, off. This is just a setting you can change in game. Vulkan slash open GL. This, just set this to auto. Power management mode. Just make sure this is on prefer maximum performance. Shader cache size. Just set this to default. Texture filtering needs to be on allow. V-Sync needs to be off. Unless you have a lot of screen tearing, you don't need V-Sync on. But say you're playing a game and your screen just randomly freezes, like your FPS drops like 20 when you're usually on 120. Turn V-Sync on. You can have it on any of these. Virtual reality variable rate super sampling. Just Keep this off and whisper mode off now that we're done with our nvidia app settings we're just going to open our nvidia control panel now it should just start you in here adjust imaging settings with preview just just take this use advanced 3d image settings and then click take me there now once we're in these settings you guys can just turn image sharpening to off ambient occlusion needs to be off this filtering setting just keep this on anything application control is probably the best setting but for me i want to keep it at like around four or eight because my pc isn't that good anti-aliasing this needs to be off Anti-aliasing mode, just make sure this is overriding any application settings. This just sets it to the lowest setting. Anti-aliasing setting, you guys can just have this on four or two, depending how good your PC is. If you have a really good PC, you can have it on eight, but I have like a middle of the road PC. It's not too bad, not too good. Anti-aliasing transparency needs to be off. Background application, max frame rate, set this to off. CUDA GPUs, I have this for my GPU. It says all, cause that's the only GPU I have in my computer. CUDA system fallback policy. This can just be set to driver default. Dynamic boost needs to be on. This is just gonna boost your GPU. Low latency mode. Like I said, this needs to be on ultra or on. Max frame rate needs to be off. Multi-frame sampling AA needs to be off. OpenGL GDI compatibility. This is just gonna be auto by default. OpenGL rendering GPU needs to be on your GPU. Mine's my NVIDIA GeForce 1650. Power management mode. This just needs to be on preferred maximum performance. Shader cache settings. This just needs to be on driver default. Texture filtering off. These All these settings should be on performance so these first settings should be off first setting should be on clamp texture filter quality should be on high performance this setting below that needs to be off thread optimization mine just on auto triple buffering can be set to on or off i have mine on on virtual sync is just v-sync like i said if you have a lot of screen tearing this should be on but i don't have any screen tearing so mine should just be set to off these last few settings don't really matter this is just for my gpu now we just click apply yeah if you guys did enjoy this video i'd appreciate if you guys hit the like and subscribe button that should really help me out also watch these videos right here